Back from Once Upon a Time. This is episode 5 of season 4. Very excited to carry on with this season, see what's going to happen next. Um, some interesting stuff going on at the minute. I really enjoyed the last episode in particular as well. Um, lots of very intriguing elements to this season so far. I'm definitely coming around to the whole Frozen characters element. I think they're starting to integrate it a lot better. Um, this whole Snow Queen woman is also kind of intriguing me. Um, and everything with like gold and hook and... It's a mess for them, but it's an intriguing mess, so it's okay. And I'm very, very excited to see where we're going to go next with this season. Um, and yeah, what this arc still has in store for us, because I feel like we're just kind of scratching the surface of what we're going to be getting out of this kind of first half of the season. So yeah, very, very excited. Let's get into the next one. That bodes well. Henry and I went for hot cocoa. Aww. When I walked into school. Aww. Oh shit. What is it? Find that Snow Queen. Or you'll learn what sorry really feels like. Yes. Oh. Your Majesty. Sydney's getting sassy. Oh. Oh. My parents are outside in the car. They sent us to grab a few things. Okay. Mm. So who's she going to be? Thanks. I was about to get what princess is she? No I'm a little busy trying to save my true love's wife. Or hadn't you heard? What do you know about true love? I suppose I should talk to Sydney then. But no one seems to know where he is. Hmm. Have you seen him? I've been busy working on Marion. He's reflecting on his actions. You've had my back, and I want you to know that I have yours. <laughs> Miss Swan, one thing's abundantly clear. You've never had my back. Oh. And you never will. That's not true. She didn't know it was Marion. Yes, I wish she'd let her die. <laughs> but still. Oh boy, don't follow the voice in the dark woods. Who took that? My queen. Creepy my fuck. Names. Upon further reflection, it appears I don't have a leverage I bought. She'll be able to reach us on our drive, our hike, we fall through a portal to Asgard, wherever <laughs> we are. That'd be cool. Thank you, Ralph. Well, Scarlet. Oh. <sighs> Looks like you managed to jailbreak. Maybe just on the seat thing like that. Come on, let's go. She's east of the toll bridge. Well, I think we should stick together then. I do too. Best shot at finding Elsa so Need to become best friends. That guy chasing you. Is he from social services? Is he trying to take you back? Is he your dad? Yeah. I like how we have like Emma forming a friendship here. Then her and Regina hopefully like rebuilding one. You wear some bright colours, don't you? They would be cool powers to have though, wouldn't they? Like, oh, I'm hungry. Snow cone. So you know, I think it's admirable. What you're doing, helping the wife of the man you love. So I've impressed you. <laughs> well, it makes it all worthwhile, baby, doesn't it? No, oh, boy. Why are you doing that? You're trying to win me over so I can assuage your guilt for what you've done, but I won't. Intentionally or not, Miss Swan, you brought Marion back. You ruined my life, and there is no coming back from that. Oh, boy. I mean, you did kill her. Like. Welcome to my world. Your world's a bit depressing. Oh! I don't know, I've had this since I can remember. I like to pretend it's oh boy. symbol, like... What is it? Or Who is this woman? Then you are special too. Thanks. That's quite wholesome. <laughs> Apart from the ink poisoning. <laughs> This is the evidence they'll use in our court case. <laughs> we broke into the house. Let's cross to stay friends, okay? No matter what, there won't be anything we can't come back from. Okay. Yeah. Promise. I'm so worried I'll never find you. But I'm so glad you did. You stay away from us. Oh. That's who she made at the start. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus. You're the worst aunt ever. What are you gonna do? I'm going to build a snowman. Come on, let's go and play. Okay, bye. My husband let you go. So I have a little victory. Do a little tracking, put a criminal back behind bars, feel good about myself. I bet that you didn't even do anything very serious. Well, a drunk can break into a library. Now, I'm dizzy, bookworm. Oh, this is David. This is mm. so David. So I'm supposed to believe that the sheriff's wife can give me my freedom. I'm also the mayor. You did it. I knew it. Uh, did he really? Looks like Elsa was here. Thanks, Miss Swan. Please continue to point out the obvious. <laughs> this is not Elsa. Who could it be? Did he betray you? Pretends to be shocked. Really? Honey, tell her the truth. I'm your father. You're coming home with me, your mother. Pretends to be sick. shocked. I thought you were like me. You lied to me. You said you didn't have a clue where Cindy was. You Parallels. I think your majesty should take a look at the mirror. She can't, your face is there. I'm She'd be afraid of a bit of snow, is literally what you do. I think we have a bigger problem. Huh. I feel invisible there. I'm just like you. I am. I'm just like you. You're just like me. I'm just like you. I'm just like you. You're just like me. You're just like me. It's something anyone can see. It's a very fucking short forever. Whoa, nice. I have a lot of respect for the actors in this show who have to like use magic. She must have like absolute twats when you're filming this. Oh. This bitch. Oh, nice. I have what I want. Stay away. You two need to mend your differences, otherwise Storybrooke doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> we never will. For one simple reason. I don't want to. Yes, you do. Mirrors reflect our mood, our design, our essence. They are a temporary receptacle for some tiny fraction of our soul. You have other mirrors. What I'm planning is to get what has been denied to me for too long. What I deserve. I'll tell you what you fucking deserve, lady. Is she in her bare feet? What are those? So close. Soon I will have what I want. You building a fun fair or what? <laughs> Leave me alone, Swan. Someone came into my life for a while and I thought we were going to be best friends. But this girl lied to me and I pushed her away because of that lie. And she asked me to forgive her, but I never did. I was just looking for you to be my friend. Oh. I thought we were friends. I'm not going to stop trying. Even if you still want to kill me. Emma White. I don't want to kill you. See? Yay. Right, Margaret, I couldn't be happier that you enjoyed yourself today, but I had nothing to do with it. Of course you did. I mean, the way... Mm. Mm. <laughs> Pretends to be shocked. Yeah, and you really pardoned it. Aw. Oh. 
You stole the camera? <laughs> Take it, we're gonna see her again presently. Oh. Who's that, another friend? What the? Oh, oh shit. Indeed. What on earth? It's creepy as hell. Okay, uh, really great episode overall. I really liked that one a lot. Um, where to begin? Uh, we'll start with like the David and Mary Margaret kind of subplot with um, Will Scarlet. Um, I did enjoy them kind of exploring Mary Margaret kind of not wanting to spend too much time away from the baby. I think it's probably made even worse for her given that she didn't really get that chance with Emma. So she's kind of even more kind of concerned about being away from her child because of what's happened to her in the past. And on top of all of that anyway, you know, we have the Snow Queen about and all that kind of panic. Um, so that I'm kind of exploring that and the fact that she wasn't maybe quite feeling herself um, and how that kind of tied into the whole Will Scar the story. Um, hopefully Will will get like a storyline of his own at some point. He's just not going to be around just for like everyone else's story. Um, but I did like the way they kind of used him in this one and Mary Margaret assuming it was all part of David's plan when she found him after they escaped. Um, she kind of got a sense back of her old self, which I think is healthy. You know, I think, not that I would know, because um, I'm not a dad yet, but I think having a bit of time away from your child at that stage is going to be healthy, obviously not too long. Um, but you still need to have a bit of your own life, I think, at the same time as you're raising like a baby and everything. Um, so I did like this kind of idea of Mary Margaret kind of trying to like recapture herself and finding that, even if it was kind of, she made up this kind of reason why it was happening in her head. Um, and it wasn't kind of a plan on David's part, but I like how that all kind of came about. And it was kind of a more light-hearted comedic storyline. I think um, a storyline like that is definitely needed in shows like this every now and again, especially in like an episode like this as well, where, you know, there was kind of some sad stuff going on really with the whole flashbacks we were getting with Emma. So I like that we had kind of a light, more light-hearted kind of story in this one. Um, that was done quite well. So I liked everything with those two. They are very adorable, David and Mary Margaret. Um, so yeah, the idea of Mary Margaret kind of recapturing a sense of herself I thought was cool and how that kind of tied into what the Snow Queen was talking about with like reflections in the mirror and kind of that captures an essence of yourself. It was kind of nice that that was kind of a big theme in the episode because Mary Margaret was time, like she was reclaiming a bit of her essence as well. So that was all very nice. I liked that kind of subplot a lot. Um, and I do enjoy Will as a character anyway, so it's always nice seeing him pop up because I just think he's a bit of fun, a bit of a light-hearted kind of um, comic relief. So I liked all of that. Um, and then all the flashbacks we were getting and how that tied into things um, and how that paralleled, you know, Emma and Lily with Emma and Regina and the fact that, you know, they were forming like this bond, forming this friendship. There's a big setback. The idea of like, can they forgive each other? Um, can he like make amends and everything and the fact that she didn't with Lily she was kind of learning from that mistake and that tied into everything with Regina um, I thought that was very cleverly done I liked that a lot um, I, I wasn't sure if they were going to like directly tie it in um, or if it you know I think the flashbacks would have worked even if Emma was, wasn't like you know I have this friend blah 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 so I kind of want to make things right with you Regina um, I think it still would have worked even without that connection but I am glad they kind of put that in uh, because I was kind of wondering, like, is this going to, like, connect some way? Or I don't know. If it didn't connect at all and Emma didn't mention that, I thought maybe, oh, okay, we're going to see Lily again in present day and that's going to, like, connect somehow. I still feel like we might. I don't know if that story's entirely done. If it's not, I think this is still fine as it was because um, I think it speaks more to Emma and Regina's relationship. But I did really enjoy the parallels between what we're getting with Emma and Lily and Emma and Regina. Um and, you know, learning to forgive. And sometimes that is best for everyone. Um, even if you don't necessarily want to forgive someone, I think it's more healthy if you do. Um, so I really enjoyed how that all kind of tied in. Um, Sydney getting involved again and ultimately betraying them. Now he's free and he's off on God knows what adventures he's going to get up to. I don't know if we're going to see a bit more of him. Um, the fact that he's out of the mirror now, it doesn't really serve much of a purpose now, I guess. Um, but I imagine we'll see him pop up again at some point. Um... But yeah, I enjoyed him kind of being, you know, 
thrown back into the events and betraying Regina for the Snow Queen and everything. I thought that was interesting. And the fact that we got a bit more of Snow Queen in this episode as well, and we seem to have learned a bit more about her motives as well. She wants a family who loves her, I guess, and for some reason a mirror's going to do that. I think she was, like, collecting shards of mirrors and, like, making a big one or something. Um, and, yeah, family who loves her. That's kind of interesting. Because, again, that was also tying into the flashbacks with um, Lily and Emma because they just wanted a family that loved them, both of them, because they both felt kind of felt quite alone. But I did like seeing them bond over that and the fact that it kind of fell apart. It's a very human thing to, like, promise someone you're going to be best friends forever. Then literally, like, the next fucking day, you're like, nah, we're done. Um, very human. So I, I did enjoy that kind of aspect of things. Um, and yeah, this idea of like wanting this family who loves you. Um, that's also why I didn't know if Emma was going to like directly reference that when she was talking to Regina, because I think it still worked because it like tied into the Snow Queen's plans as well. Um, but that's all very interesting. I liked how that was, that was all done. I thought that was very cleverly kind of written in together. Um, learning a bit more about the Snow Queen and her plans and her ties to Emma, I think are very interesting. I like the setup with the camera and how she kind of appeared on it at the end. I don't know if... I don't know, Emma was like living with her for a time or how she's connected um, to Emma. I'm very, very intrigued by it. I like that storyline a lot. and I'm very much looking forward to getting his answers. So I'm definitely getting more and more intrigued by the Snow Queen kind of storyline and the mystery. Um, so we'll see where it's going to go f further from that and exactly how they're going to escalate things. You know, oh, my evil plan, I want a family that loves me. Not if you do all this evil shit to kind of get your own way. Um, that's a bit like, oh, okay. Um, so it's interesting that it may not be necessarily an evil plan. She's just kind of doing not great things to get what she wants. Um, but we'll see where they go with that. I'm intrigued as to where that storyline's headed. Um, I'm very invested in the idea of this past Emma has with the Snow Queen that she doesn't know about. Hopefully we get those gaps filled in quite soon because um, I'm very intrigued by that so I liked everything with that um, and all the flashbacks with young Emma um, when we saw that flashback with that same actress who played young Emma before I was like oh I broke my heart and she like watched the person drive away so I'm glad we got more of that actress um, in a different storyline so yeah I liked the connection between her and Liddy how that paralleled things with Regina and those two hopefully started to make amends as well in the present day because I really like seeing Emma and Regina get along after four seasons I think it's time um, so hopefully they can really patch things up and become really good friends I did like that Emma was kind of putting in all that effort um, and not because she wanted to like alleviate her guilt or anything. She just wanted to be Regina's friend. Um, I think Regina's going to start returning that as well, which would be very nice. And I think that's what's best for Henry as well, if those two get along. Um, so I think they need to think of him in that kind of situation as well. So hopefully we're going to see the journey to them becoming a bit more friendly again and hopefully just become quite close. I think I'd really like to see that. Um, so everything with those stories tying into the flashbacks and the Snow Queen's plan and the whole family thing, I thought it was done very, very well. Um, and yeah, Sydney being involved in that as well was cool. Um, and yeah, we've got a bit of hook in this episode, not too much, but I did find him very adorable with Emma at the end. Those two are just wholesome. Um, and I like how excited he was to kind of look through like her past things. He's very supportive. But on top of all that, you know, I think... We have this big secret still about him attacking Will and everything, and the whole hand business. I'm sure that's going to come out at some point, and Emma's going to be like, ah, we're done. Mm -hmm. eh. Eh. Um, but still, it was cool seeing him in these scenes, um, and the fact that he took Henry sailing. Wholesome, I wish we'd seen it. Um, but I guess Jared's still very young at this point, and he probably has schooled and stuff, so I know he's not in like every single episode. Um, so that makes sense, they can't use him all the time. Sounds a cool kind of way of not focusing on too many characters, I guess. Um, but yeah, they kind of bookended the episode, I guess, with some Emma Hook interactions, which I'm all for, because I love those two together. Um, so yeah, that was great. I really enjoyed that side of things. Um, and yeah, just overall, a really, really great episode. I really enjoyed it. Um, definitely liked the advancement of Emma and Regina's kind of relationship and um, the advancement of learning more about the Snow Queen and her plot how that ties into everything. Um, seeing Elsa kind of learn to overcome her fears was cool. And the whole idea of like this being tricked by Anna. Um, the CGI effects and stuff on her magic I've done very, very well. Um, I don't know if they're going to have to have like a bare bones plot in the latter half of the season because all their CGI budget's gone. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. Um, but I do think the effects are really, really great. I think they, ha they hold up quite well. Um, 
so yeah seeing Elsa kind of try and find her family as well again tying into that whole theme um, was pretty cool um, and yeah just a very very interesting episode very excited by the Snow Queen and Emma's connection in particular I really enjoyed the flashbacks with um, Emma and Lily um, the David and Mary Margaret kind of subplot with Will was very nice and Sydney kind of coming back into things betraying Regina and Regina and Emma's relationship kind of being put centre stage and Elsa kind of giving advice over that I thought it was all done very very well all tied together very nicely I think it was very well written in that respect and yeah really good episode looking forward to seeing where we're going to go in future but until my next reaction thanks for watching